can meningitis be prevented? The introduction and widespread use of Haemophilus influenza type B and Streptococcus pneumoniae. Conjugated vaccines has dramatically reduced the incidence of meningitis caused by these bacteria. In 2005, the Centers for Disease Control recommended routine vaccination of adolescents and college freshmen with the new meningococcal vaccine which prevents four types of meningococcal disease caused by the bacteria Neisseria meningitides. When and where did the first blood bank open? Several sites claim the distinction. Some sources list the first blood bank as opening in 1940 in New York City under the supervision of Dr. Richard C. Drew. 1904-1950, others list an earlier date of 1938 in Moscow at the Sklifosovsky Institute. Moscow Central Emergency Service Hospital, founded by Professor Sergei Yudin. The term blood bank was coined by Bernard Fantas, 1874-1940, who set up a centralized storage depot for blood in 1937 at the Cook County Hospital in Chicago, Illinois. What is the phobia of the number 13 called? Fear of the number 13 is known as tridecophobia, tridecophobia, or triskydecaphobia. Persons may fear any situation involving this number, including a house number, the floor of a building, or the 13th day of the month. Many buildings omit labeling the 13th floor as such for this reason. A phobia can develop for a wide range of objects, situations, or organisms. What first aid remedies may be used for bee stings? If a person is allergic to bee stings, he or she should seek professional medical care immediately. For persons not allergic to bee stings, the following steps may be taken, the stinger should be removed by scraping it with a knife, a long fingernail, or a credit card, rather than by trying to pull it out. A wet aspirin may be rubbed on the area of the sting to help neutralize some of the inflammatory agents in the venom. Unless the person is allergic or sensitive to aspirin taken by mouth. A paste made of meat tenderizer, or another product that contains papain. Mixed with water will relieve the pain. Adults may take an antihistamine along with a mild pain reliever such as aspirin, ibuprofen, or acetaminophen. What are the different domains of complementary and alternative medicine? Complementary and alternative medicine practices may be divided into four domains, mind-body medicine. 2. Biologically-based practices, 3. Manipulative, 
and body-based practices, and for energy medicine. Mind-body medicine uses a variety of techniques designed to enhance the mind's capacity to affect bodily function and symptoms. Mind-body techniques include meditation, prayer, mental healing, and therapies that use creative outlets such as art, dance, and music. Patient support groups and cognitive behavioral therapy were once considered CAM techniques, but are currently considered mainstream. Biologically based practices use substances found in nature, such as herbs, food, and vitamins, including dietary supplements and herbal products. One example of a natural product to treat a medical disorder is using shark cartilage to treat cancer. Manipulative and body-based practices are based on manipulation and slash or movement of one or more body parts. Manipulation may be part of whole medical systems, such as chiropractic medicine or osteopathic medicine. It often includes massage therapy to increase the flow of blood and oxygen to the targeted areas. The two types of energy fields used in energy therapies are biofield therapies and bioelectromagnetic based therapies. Biofield therapies are intended to affect energy fields that purportedly surround and penetrate the human body. The existence of such fields has not yet been scientifically proven. Some forms of energy therapy manipulate biofields by applying pressure and slash or manipulating the body by placing the hands in, or through, these fields. Bioelectromagnetic based therapies involve the unconventional use of electromagnetic fields, such as pulsed fields, magnetic fields, or alternating current or direct current fields. What are the different domains of complementary and alternative medicine? Complementary and alternative medicine practices may be divided into four domains, mind-body medicine. 2. Biologically based practices, 3. Manipulative, and body-based practices, and 4. Energy medicine. Mind-body medicine uses a variety of techniques designed to enhance the mind's capacity to affect bodily function and symptoms. Mind-body techniques include meditation, prayer, mental healing, and therapies that use creative outlets such as art, dance, and music. Patient support groups and cognitive behavioral therapy were once considered CAM techniques, but are currently considered mainstream. Biologically based practices use substances found in nature, such as herbs, food, and vitamins, including dietary supplements and herbal products. One example of a natural product to treat a medical disorder is using shark cartilage to treat cancer. Manipulative and body-based practices are based on manipulation and slash or movement of one or more body parts. Manipulation may be part of whole medical systems, such as chiropractic medicine or osteopathic medicine. It often includes massage therapy to increase the flow of blood and oxygen to the targeted areas. The two types of energy fields used in energy therapies are biofield therapies and bioelectromagnetic based therapies. 
biofield therapies are intended to affect energy fields that purportedly surround and penetrate the human body. The existence of such fields has not yet been scientifically proven. Some forms of energy therapy manipulate biofields by applying pressure and slash or manipulating the body by placing the hands in, or through, these fields. Bioelectromagnetic based therapies involve the unconventional use of electromagnetic fields, such as pulsed fields, magnetic fields, or alternating current or direct current fields. What are some examples of biofield therapies? Qigong, Reiki, and therapeutic touch are examples of biofield therapies. Qigong, a part of traditional Chinese medicine, combines movement, meditation, and controlled breathing. The goal is to improve blood flow and the flow of qi. Reiki, based on the spiritual. Teachings of Mikao Yuzui, 1865 to 1926 of Japan is used to promote overall health and well-being. Practitioners of Reiki seek to transmit a universal energy to a person, either from a distance or by placing their hands on or near the person. The goal is to heal the spirit and thus the body. Therapeutic touch is a therapy in which practitioners pass their hands over another person's body with the intent to use their own perceived healing energy to identify energy imbalances and promote health. What are some examples of biofield therapies? Qigong, Reiki, and therapeutic touch are examples of biofield therapies. Qigong, a part of traditional Chinese medicine, combines movement, meditation, and controlled breathing. The goal is to improve blood flow and the flow of qi. Reiki, based on the spiritual. Teachings of Mikao Yuzui 1865 to 1926 of Japan is used to promote overall health and well-being. Practitioners of Reiki seek to transmit a universal energy to a person, either from a distance or by placing their hands on or near the person. The goal is to heal the spirit and thus the body. Therapeutic touch is a therapy in which practitioners pass their hands over another person's body with the intent to use their own perceived healing energy to identify energy imbalances and promote health. What is reflexology? Reflexology is the application of specific pressures to reflex points in the hands and feet. The reflex points relate to every organ and every part of the body. Massaging of the reflex points is done to prevent or cure diseases. Believed to have been used in Asian cultures as long as 2000 years ago. Reflexology was introduced to the United States at the turn of the century by Dr. William Fitzgerald, 1872-1942, and Eunice D. Ingham, 1889-1974. Today nearly 25.
000 certified practitioners can be found throughout the world. What is reflexology? Reflexology is the application of specific pressures to reflex points in the hands and feet. The reflex points relate to every organ and every part of the body. Massaging of the reflex points is done to prevent or cure diseases. Believed to have been used in Asian cultures as long as 2000 years ago. Reflexology was introduced to the United States at the turn of the century by Dr. William Fitzgerald, 1872-1942, and Eunice D. Ingham, 1889-1974. Today nearly 25. 000 certified practitioners can be found throughout the world. What is aromatherapy? Holistic medicine looks at the health of the whole individual. And treatments emphasize the connection of mind, body, and spirit. Aromatherapy involves using particular scents derived from essential oils to influence emotions and to treat and cure minor ailments. It is based on the fact that the olfactory and emotional centers of the body are connected. By inhaling different aromas, emotional concerns as well as physical complaints are said to be eased. The term aromatherapy was first used by René Maurice Gattafossi. 1881 to 1950, a French perfume chemist. He discovered the healing powers of lavender oil following a laboratory accident during which he burned his hand. Gattafossi began to investigate the properties of lavender oil and other essential oils and published a book on plant extracts. During aromatherapy treatments, essential oils are absorbed through breath or the pores of the skin. This process triggers certain physiological responses. What is aromatherapy? Holistic medicine looks at the health of the whole individual. And treatments emphasize the connection of mind, body, and spirit. Aromatherapy involves using particular scents derived from essential oils to influence emotions and to treat and cure minor ailments. It is based on the fact that the olfactory and emotional centers of the body are connected. By inhaling different aromas, emotional concerns as well as physical complaints are said to be eased. The term aromatherapy was first used by René Maurice Gattafossi. 1881-1950, a French perfume chemist. He discovered the healing powers of Lavender oil following a laboratory accident during which he burned his hand. Gattafossi began to investigate the properties of lavender oil. And other essential oils and published a book on plant extracts. During aromatherapy treatments, essential oils are absorbed through breath or the pores of the skin. This process triggers certain physiological responses.
What is the difference between the degrees doctor of dental surgery? DDS, and doctor of medical dentistry, DMD? The title depends entirely on the school's preference in terminology. The degrees are equivalent. What is the difference between the degrees Doctor of Dental Surgery, DDS, and Doctor of Medical Dentistry, DMD? The title depends entirely on the school's preference in terminology. The degrees are equivalent. How many people visit a dentist regularly? Only about half the population visits a dentist as often as once a year. Children, ages 2 to 17, visit the dentist more frequently than adults. How many people visit a dentist regularly? Only about half the population visits a dentist as often as once a year. Children, ages 2 to 17, visit the dentist more frequently than adults. Why do some dentists treat the molars and premolars of children with sealants? Sealants, a soft plastic coating applied to the tooth surface, can protect a child's first and second permanent molars from decay by filling in. The pits and fissures where food and bacteria might otherwise accumulate. The plastic is hardened with a special light or chemical. Why do some dentists treat the molars and premolars of children with sealants? Sealants, a soft plastic coating applied to the tooth surface, can protect a child's first and second permanent molars from decay by filling in the pits and fissures where food and bacteria might otherwise accumulate. The plastic is hardened with a special light or chemical. What is the difference between an ophthalmologist, optometrist, and optician? An ophthalmologist is a physician who specializes in care of the eyes. Ophthalmologists conduct examinations to determine the quality of vision and the need for corrective glasses or contact lenses. They also check for the presence of any disorders, such as glaucoma or cataracts. Ophthalmologists may perform surgery or prescribe glasses, contact lenses, or medication, as necessary. An optometrist is a specialist trained to examine the eyes and to prescribe supply, 
and adjust glasses or contact lenses. Because they are not physicians, optometrists may not prescribe drugs or perform surgery. An optometrist refers patients requiring these types of treatment to an ophthalmologist. An optician is a person who fits supplies and adjusts glasses or contact lenses. Because their training is limited, opticians may not examine or test eyes or prescribe glasses or drugs. What is the difference between an ophthalmologist, optometrist, and optician? An ophthalmologist is a physician who specializes in care of the eyes. Ophthalmologists conduct examinations to determine the quality of vision and the need for corrective glasses or contact lenses. They also check for the presence of any disorders, such as glaucoma or cataracts. Ophthalmologists may perform surgery or prescribe glasses, contact lenses, or medication, as necessary. An optometrist is a specialist trained to examine the eyes and to prescribe, supply, and adjust glasses or contact lenses. Because they are not physicians, optometrists may not prescribe drugs or perform surgery. An optometrist refers patients requiring these types of treatment to an ophthalmologist. An optician is a person who fits supplies and adjusts glasses or contact lenses. Because their training is limited, opticians may not examine or test eyes or prescribe glasses or drugs. What is the meaning of the medical abbreviation NYD? Not yet diagnosed. What is the meaning of the medical abbreviation NYD? Not yet diagnosed. How is blood pressure measured? A sphygmomanometer is the device used to measure blood pressure. It was invented in 1881 by an Austrian named von Bash. It consists of a cuff with an inflatable bladder that is wrapped around the upper arm. A rubber bulb to inflate the bladder, and a device that indicates the pressure of blood. Measuring arterial tension, blood pressure, of a person's circulation is achieved when the Cuff is applied to the arm over the artery and pumped to a pressure that occludes or blocks it. This gives the systolic measure, or the maximum pressure of the blood, which occurs during contraction of the ventricles of the heart. Air is then released from the cuff until the blood is first heard passing through the opening artery, called Korokoff sounds. This gives diastolic pressure, or the minimum value of blood pressure that occurs during the relaxation of the arterial filling phase of the heart muscle.
How is blood pressure measured? A sphygmomanometer is the device used to measure blood pressure. It was invented in 1881 by an Austrian named von Bash. It consists of a cuff with an inflatable bladder that is wrapped around the upper arm. A rubber bulb to inflate the bladder, and a device that indicates the pressure of blood. Measuring arterial tension, blood pressure, of a person's circulation is achieved when the Cuff is applied to the arm over the artery and pumped to a pressure that occludes or blocks it. This gives the systolic measure, or the maximum pressure of the blood, which occurs during contraction of the ventricles of the heart. Air is then released from the cuff until the blood is first heard passing through the opening artery, called Korokoff sounds. This gives diastolic pressure, or the minimum value of blood pressure that occurs during the relaxation of the arterial filling phase of the heart muscle. What is the meaning of the numbers in a blood pressure reading? When blood is forced into the aorta, it exerts a pressure against the walls. This is referred to as blood pressure. The upper number, the systolic, measures the pressure during the period of ventricular contraction. The lower number, the diastolic, measures the pressure when blood is entering the relaxed chambers of the heart. While these numbers can vary due to age, sex, weight, and other factors. The normal blood pressure is around 110-60 to 140-90 mm of mercury. What is the meaning of the numbers in a blood pressure reading? When blood is forced into the aorta, it exerts a pressure against the walls. This is referred to as blood pressure. The upper number, the systolic, measures the pressure during the period of ventricular contraction. The lower number, the diastolic, measures the pressure when blood is entering the relaxed chambers of the heart. While these numbers can vary due to age, sex, weight, and other factors. The normal blood pressure is around 110-60 to 140-90 mm of mercury. Is there a name for the heart monitoring machine that people sometimes Wear for a day or two while carrying on their normal activities. A portable version of the electrocardiograph, ECG, designed by J. J. Holter is called a Holter monitor. Electrodes attached to the Chest are linked to a small box containing a recording device. The device records the activity of the heart.
Is there a name for the heart monitoring machine that people sometimes wear for a day or two while carrying on their normal activities? A portable version of the electrocardiograph, ECG, designed by J. J. Holter is called a Holter monitor. Electrodes attached to the chest are linked to a small box containing a recording device. The device records the activity of the heart. How did lead contribute to the fall of the Roman Empire? Some believe Romans from the period around 150 B. CE may have been victims of lead poisoning. Symptoms of lead poisoning include sterility. General weakness, apathy, mental retardation, and early death. The lead could have been ingested in water taken from lead lined water pipes or from food cooked in their lead lined cooking pots or from wine served in lead lined goblets. Unaware of its dangers, some ancient Romans unwittingly used. Lead as a sweetening agent or medical treatment for diarrhea. Lead poisoning could have caused infertility in women. Leading to a subsequent long-term decline in the birth rate of the Roman upper classes. The effect of this inadvertent toxic food additive on Roman history, however, is only speculative. Why do deep sea divers get the bends? Bends is a painful condition in the limbs and abdomen. It is caused by the formation and enlargement of bubbles of nitrogen in blood and tissues as a result of rapid reduction of pressure. This condition can develop when a diver ascends too rapidly after being exposed to increased pressure. Severe pain will develop in the muscles and joints of the arms and legs. More severe symptoms include vertigo, nausea, vomiting, choking, shock, and sometimes death. Benz is also known as decompression sickness, caisson disease, tunnel disease, and diver's paralysis. A variety of organisms have been shown to cause PID, including Neisseria gonorrhoeae and such. Common bacteria as Staphylococci, Chlamydiae, and coliforms, Pseudomonas and Escherichia coli. Signs and symptoms of PID vary with the site of the infection, but usually include profuse purulent vaginal discharge, low-grade fever, and malaise, especially within gonorrhoea infections, and lower abdominal pain. PID is treated with antibiotics. An early diagnosis and treatment will prevent damage to the reproductive system. Severe, untreated PID can result in the development of a pelvic abscess that requires drainage. A ruptured pelvic abscess is a potentially fatal complication. And a patient who develops this complication may require a total hysterectomy. Is there a name for the heart monitoring machine that people sometimes 
wear for a day or two while carrying on their normal activities. A portable version of the electrocardiograph, ECG, designed by J. J Holter is called a Holter monitor. Electrodes attached to the chest are linked to a small box containing a recording device. The device records the activity of the heart. What is the difference between the degrees doctor of dental surgery? DDS, and doctor of medical dentistry, DMD? The title depends entirely on the school's preference in terminology. The degrees are equivalent. What is mad cow disease and how does it affect humans? Mad cow disease, bovine spongiform encephalopathy, BSE, is a cattle disease of the central nervous system. First identified in Britain in 1986, BSE is a transmissible spongiform encephalopathy. XE, a disease characterized by the damage caused to the brain tissue. The tissue is pierced with small holes like a sponge. The disease is incurable, untreatable, and fatal. Researchers believe BSE is linked to Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CJD. In humans through the consumption of contaminated bovine products. CJD is a fatal illness marked by brain tissue deterioration. And progressive degeneration of the central nervous system. What is the meaning of the numbers in a blood pressure reading? When blood is forced into the aorta, it exerts a pressure against the walls. This is referred to as blood pressure. The upper number, the systolic, measures the pressure during the period of ventricular contraction. The lower number, the diastolic, measures the pressure when blood is entering the relaxed chambers of the heart. While these numbers can vary due to age, sex, weight, and other factors. The normal blood pressure is around 110-60 to 140-90 mm of mercury. How is Lyme disease carried? The cause of Lyme disease is the spirochete Borrelia burgdorferi that is transmitted to humans by the small tick Ixodes damini or other ticks in the Ixodidae family. The tick injects spirochete-laden saliva into the bloodstream or deposits fecal matter on the skin. This multisystemic disease usually begins in the summer with a skin lesion called erythema chronicum migrans. ECM, followed by more lesions, a malar rash, conjunctivitis, and urticaria. The lesions are eventually replaced by small red blotches. Other common symptoms in the first stage include fatigue, 
intermittent headache, fever, chills, and muscle aches. In stage 2, which can be weeks or months later, cardiac or neurologic abnormalities sometimes develop. In the last stage, weeks or years later, arthritis develops with marked swelling, especially in the large joints. If tetracycline, penicillin, or erythromycin is given in the early stages, the later complications can be minimized. High dosage of intravenously given penicillin can also be effective on the late stages. What is the difference between an ophthalmologist, optometrist, and optician? An ophthalmologist is a physician who specializes in care of the eyes. Ophthalmologists conduct examinations to determine the quality of vision and the need for corrective glasses or contact lenses. They also check for the presence of any disorders, such as glaucoma or cataracts. Ophthalmologists may perform surgery or prescribe glasses, contact lenses, or medication, as necessary. An optometrist is a specialist trained to examine the eyes and to prescribe, supply, and adjust glasses or contact lenses. Because they are not physicians, optometrists may not prescribe drugs or perform surgery. An optometrist refers patients requiring these types of treatment to an ophthalmologist. An optician is a person who fits, supplies, and adjusts glasses or contact lenses. Because their training is limited, opticians may not examine or test eyes or prescribe glasses or drugs. What was the contribution of Drive? Gorgas to the building of the Panama Canal? Dr. William C. Gorgas, 1854-1920, brought the endemic diseases of Panama under control by Destroying mosquito breeding grounds, virtually eliminating yellow fever and malaria. His work was probably more essential to the completion of the canal than any engineering technique. How is blood pressure measured? A sphygmomanometer is the device used to measure blood pressure. It was invented in 1881 by an Austrian named von Basch. It consists of a cuff with an inflatable bladder that is wrapped around the upper arm. A rubber bulb to inflate the bladder, and a device that indicates the pressure of blood. Measuring arterial tension blood pressure of a person's circulation is achieved when the cuff is applied to the arm over the artery and pumped to a pressure that occludes or blocks it. This gives the systolic measure, or the maximum pressure of the blood, which occurs during contraction of the ventricles of the heart. Air is then released from the cuff until the blood is first. Heard passing through the opening artery, called Korokoff sounds. This gives diastolic pressure, 
or the minimum value of blood pressure that occurs during the relaxation of the arterial filling phase of the heart muscle. Which disease is the most common? The most common non-contagious disease is periodontal disease. Such as gingivitis or inflammation of the gums. Few people in their lifetime can avoid the effects of tooth decay. The most common contagious disease in the world is coryza or the common cold. There are nearly 62 million cases of the common cold in the United States annually. What is the difference between human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, and AIDS? The term AIDS applies to the most advanced stages of HIV infection. The Center for Disease Control, CDC, definition of AIDS includes all HIV infected. People who have fewer than 200 CD41 T cells per cubic millimeter of blood. Healthy adults usually have CD41 T cell counts of 1000 or more. The definition also includes 26 clinical conditions. Mostly opportunistic infections, that affect people with advanced HIV disease. What is progeria? Progeria is premature old age. There are two distinct forms of the condition, both of which are extremely rare. In Hutchinson-Gilford syndrome, aging starts around the age 4, and by 10 or 12, the Affected child has all the external features of old age, including gray hair, baldness, and loss of fat, resulting in thin limbs and sagging skin on the trunk and face. There are also internal degenerative changes, such as atherosclerosis, fatty deposits lining the artery walls. Death usually occurs at puberty. Werner's syndrome, or adult progeria, starts in early adult life and follows the same rapid progression as the juvenile form with individuals. Developing disorders usually associated with aging as early as in their 20s and 30s. Most individuals with Werner's syndrome live until their late 40s or early 50s. The cause of progeria is unknown. What is pelvic inflammatory disease? Pelvic inflammatory disease, PID is a term used for a group of infections in the female organs, including inflammations of the fallopian tubes, cervix, uterus, and ovaries. It is the most common cause of female infertility today. PID is most often found in sexually active women under the age of 25 and almost always results from gonorrhea or chlamydia. But women who use intrauterine devices, IUDs, are also at risk.
How many calories does a person burn while sleeping? A 150 pound, 68 kilogram, person burns 1 calorie per minute during bed rest. The approximate Caloric expenditure of other activities for a person weighing 150 pounds are given below. Actual numbers may vary, depending on the vigor of the exercise, air temperature, clothing, etc. What is lactose intolerance? Lactose, the principal sugar in cow's milk and found only in dairy products. Requires the enzyme lactase for human digestion. Lactose intolerance occurs when the lining of the walls of a person's small intestine does not produce normal amounts of this enzyme. Lactose intolerance causes abdominal cramps bloating, diarrhea, and excessive gas when more than a certain amount of milk is ingested. Most people are less able to tolerate lactose as they grow older. A person having lactose intolerance need not eliminate dairy products totally from the diet. Decreasing the consumption of milk products, drinking milk only during meals. And getting calcium from cheese, yogurt, and other dairy products having lower lactose values are options. Another alternative is to buy a commercial lactose preparation that can be mixed into milk. These preparations convert lactose into simple sugars that can be easily digested. Are vitamin supplements necessary? Vitamin supplements may be a useful addition to the diet of individuals who do not receive all of the nutrients they need from their diet. These individuals cannot or do not eat enough of a variety of healthy foods. What is anorexia? Anorexia simply means a loss of appetite. Anorexia nervosa is a psychological disturbance that is characterized by an intense fear of being fat. It usually affects teenage or young adult women. This persistent fat image, however untrue in reality, leads the patient to self-imposed starvation and emaciation. Extreme thinness, to the point where one-third of the body weight is lost. There are many theories on the causes of this disease, which is difficult to treat and can be fatal. Between 5 and 10 percent of patients hospitalized. For anorexia nervosa later die from starvation or suicide. Symptoms include a 25% or greater weight loss, for no organic reason. Coupled with a morbid dread of being fat, an obsession with food, an avoidance of eating, compulsive exercising and restlessness. Binge eating followed by induced vomiting, and slash or use of laxatives or diuretics. What are some examples of biofield therapies?
Qigong, Reiki, and therapeutic touch are examples of biofield therapies. Qigong, a part of traditional Chinese medicine, combines movement, meditation, and controlled breathing. The goal is to improve blood flow and the flow of qi. Reiki, based on the spiritual. Teachings of Mikao Yuzui, 1865-1926, of Japan, is used to promote overall health and well-being. Practitioners of Reiki seek to transmit a universal energy to a person. Either from a distance or by placing their hands on or near the person. The goal is to heal the spirit and thus the body. Therapeutic touch is a therapy in which practitioners pass their hands over another person's body with the intent to use their own perceived healing energy to identify energy imbalances and promote health. The states slash territories in the United States with the greatest incidence of AIDS. Cases are reported in the following table, what are the symptoms and signs of AIDS? The early symptoms, AIDS-related complex, or ARC, symptoms, include night sweats, prolonged fevers, severe weight loss, persistent diarrhea, skin rash, persistent cough, and shortness of breath. The diagnosis changes to AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, when the immune system is affected and the patient becomes susceptible to opportunistic infections and unusual cancers, such as herpes viruses. Herpes simplex, herpes zoster, cytomegalovirus infection, candida albicans, fungus, infection. Cryptosporidium enterocolitis, protozoan intestinal infection, pneumocystis carinii pneumonia. PCP, a common AIDS lung infection, toxoplasmosis, protozoan brain infection, progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. PML, a central nervous system disease causing gradual brain degeneration. Mycobacterium avium intracellulari infection, MI, a common generalized bacterial infection, and Kaposi sarcoma. A malignant skin cancer characterized by blue-red nodules on limbs and body. And internally in the gastrointestinal and respiratory tracts, where the tumors cause severe internal bleeding. The signs of AIDS are generalized swollen glands, emaciation, blue or purple-brown spots on the body. Especially on the legs and arms, prolonged pneumonia and oral thrush. What is reflexology? Reflexology is the application of specific pressures to reflex points in the hands and feet. The reflex points relate to every organ and every part of the body. Massaging of the reflex points is done to prevent or cure diseases believed to have been used in Asian cultures as long as 2,000 years ago. Reflexology was introduced to the United States at the turn of the century by D.R. William Fitzgerald, 1872-1942, and Eunice D. Ingham, 1889-1974. Today nearly 25. 
000 certified practitioners can be found throughout the world. What are vitamins and minerals? A vitamin is an organic, non-protein substance that is required by an organism for normal metabolic function but cannot be synthesized by that organism. In other words, vitamins are crucial molecules that must be acquired from outside sources. While most vitamins are present in food, vitamin D, for example, is produced as a precursor in our skin and converted to the active form by sunlight. Minerals, such as calcium and iron, are inorganic substances that also enhance cell metabolism. Vitamins may be fatter water soluble. What is the meaning of the medical abbreviation NYD? Not yet diagnosed. What are the different domains of complementary and alternative medicine? Complementary and alternative medicine practices may be divided into four domains, mind-body medicine. 2. Biologically based practices, 3. Manipulative and body-based practices, and 4. Energy medicine. Mind-body medicine uses a variety of techniques designed to enhance the mind's capacity to affect bodily function and symptoms. Mind-body techniques include meditation, prayer, mental healing, and therapies that use creative outlets such as art, dance, and music. Patient support groups and cognitive behavioral therapy were once considered CAM techniques, but are currently considered mainstream. Biologically based practices use substances found in nature, such as herbs, food, and vitamins, including dietary supplements and herbal products. One example of a natural product to treat a medical disorder is using shark cartilage to treat cancer. Manipulative and body-based practices are based on manipulation and slash or movement of one or more body parts. Manipulation may be part of whole medical systems, such as chiropractic medicine or osteopathic medicine. It often includes massage therapy to increase the flow of blood and oxygen to the targeted areas. The two types of energy fields used in energy therapies are biofield therapies and bioelectromagnetic based therapies. Biofield therapies are intended to affect energy fields that purportedly surround and penetrate the human body. The existence of such fields has not yet been scientifically proven. Some forms of energy therapy manipulate biofields by applying pressure and slash or manipulating the body by placing the hands in, or through, these fields. Bioelectromagnetic based therapies involve the unconventional use of electromagnetic fields, such as pulsed fields, magnetic fields, or alternating current or direct current fields.
What type of diet is recommended for individuals with celiac disease? A gluten-free diet is the only treatment for individuals with celiac disease. Celiac disease is an autoimmune digestive disease that damages the small intestine and interferes with absorption of nutrients. The villi in the small intestine are damaged or destroyed whenever sufferers of celiac disease eat products that contain gluten. Gluten is found in wheat, rye, and barley. Once the villi are damaged, they are not able to allow nutrients to be absorbed by the bloodstream. Leading to malnutrition. What are the essential nutrients? There are six essential nutrients, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, water, vitamins, and minerals. Energy nutrients are those that provide the body with the majority of the energy needed for daily metabolic reactions. Carbohydrates, fats, and proteins are energy nutrients. What is aromatherapy? Holistic medicine looks at the health of the whole individual. And treatments emphasize the connection of mind, body, and spirit. Aromatherapy involves using particular scents derived from essential oils to influence emotions and to treat and cure minor ailments. It is based on the fact that the olfactory and emotional centers of the body are connected. By inhaling different aromas, emotional concerns as well as physical complaints are said to be eased. The term aromatherapy was first used by René Maurice Gattafossi. 1881-1950, a French perfume chemist. He discovered the healing powers of lavender oil following a laboratory accident during which he burned his hand. Gattafossi began to investigate the properties of lavender oil and other essential oils and published a book on plant extracts. During aromatherapy treatments, essential oils are absorbed through breath or the pores of the skin. This process triggers certain physiological responses. Which disease is the deadliest? The most deadly infectious disease was the pneumonic form of the plague. The so-called Black Death of 1347 to 1351, with a mortality rate of 100%. Today, the disease with the highest mortality, almost 100%, is rabies in humans when it prevents the victim from swallowing water. This disease is not to be confused with being bitten by a rabid animal. With immediate attention, the rabies virus can be prevented from invading. The nervous system and the survival rate in this circumstance is 95%. AIDS, Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome First reported in 1981, 
is caused by HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus. In 1993, HIV infection was the most common cause of death among persons aged 25 to 44 years. In 1999 alone, 14,802 U.S. residents died from the AIDS-HIV infection. According to the National Center for Health Statistics, although still a significant cause of death among persons aged 25 to 44, it is no longer the most common cause of death. Which species of mosquito causes malaria and yellow fever in humans? The bite of the female mosquito of the genus Anopheles can contain the parasite of the genus Plasmodium. Which causes malaria, a serious tropical infectious disease affecting 200 to 300 million people worldwide? More than 1 million African babies and children die from the disease annually. The Aedes aegypti mosquito transmits yellow fever, a serious infectious disease characterized by jaundice. Giving the patient yellowish skin, 10% of the patients die. How many people visit a dentist regularly? Only about half the population visits a dentist as often as once a year. Children, ages 2 to 17, visit the dentist more frequently than adults. What is meant by vectors in medicine? A vector is an animal that transmits a particular infectious disease. A vector picks up disease organisms from a source of infection, carries them within or on its body. And later deposits them where they infect a new host. Mosquitoes, fleas, lice, ticks, and flies are the most important vectors of disease to humans. Why do some dentists treat the molars and premolars of children with sealants? Sealants, a soft plastic coating applied to the tooth surface, can protect a child's first and second permanent molars from decay by filling in the pits and fissures where food and bacteria might otherwise accumulate. The plastic is hardened with a special light or chemical. How is the term zoonosis defined? A zoonosis is any infectious disease or parasitic disease of animals that can be transmitted to humans. Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever, for example are indirectly spread to humans from an animal through the bite of a tick. Common household pets also can directly transmit diseases to humans unless preventive measures are taken. Cat scratch fever and toxoplasmosis may be contracted from cats. Wild animals and dogs can transmit rabies. 
however, most zoonosis diseases are relatively rare and can be treated once detected. Such sensible actions as regularly vaccinating pets and wearing long-sleeved shirts and pants when hiking can prevent the spread of most zoonoses. What is the food guidance system? The food guidance system, My Pyramid, is an educational tool to help individuals implement the dietary guidelines for Americans published jointly by the Department of Health and Human Services, HHS, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA. The current system maintains the shape of the familiar food guide pyramid but it is personalized for age, sex, and individual physical activity levels. The new pyramid symbol in my pyramid features six vertical color bands representing the five food groups and oils. Each food group narrows toward the top to indicate moderation. The stylized symbol of a person climbing the steps is to encourage physical activity. How many individuals are infected with HIV slash AIDS? At the end of 2009, it was estimated that 33.3 million people worldwide were living with HIV slash AIDS. Adults accounted for 30.8 million cases of HIV slash AIDS. 51% or million are women, and children under 15 accounted for 2.5 million cases. Since 1981, more than 25 million people have died from AIDS. Which foods contain trans fats? Trans fatty acids, or trans fats, are made when manufacturers add hydrogen to liquid vegetable oil a process called hydrogenation creating solid fats like shortening and hard margarine hydrogenation increases the shelf life and flavor stability of foods containing these fats diets high in trans fat raise the LDL low-density lipoprotein or bad cholesterol, increasing the risk for coronary heart disease. Cakes, crackers, cookies, snack foods, and other foods made with or fried in partially. Hydrogenated oils are the largest source, 40%, of trans fats in the American diet. Animal products and margarine are also major sources of trans fats. Since January 2006, the U.S. government has directed that the amount of trans fat in a product must be included in the Nutrition Facts panel on food labels. In 2008, California became the first state to enact legislation to gradually Phase trans fat out of food served in food facilities and in baked goods. Similarly, New York City is phasing in a ban on trans fat in all city restaurants. Other states have proposed legislation to ban the use of trans fats in restaurants or schools or baked goods.
who invented the pacemaker. Paul Zoll, 1911-1999, invented an electric stimulator device. To deliver electrical impulses to the heart externally. In 1958, biomedical engineer Wilson Great Batch, 1919, in cooperation with doctors William M. Chardak. 1915 to 2006, and Andrew A. Gage, 1922, invented the first internal pacemaker. It was a small, flat, plastic disc powered by a battery. It was implanted into the body and connected by wires sewn directly onto the heart. The wires emitted rhythmic electric impulses to trigger the heart's action. Pacemaker batteries now last from 6 to 10 years. Who invented the pacemaker? Paul Zoll, 1911-1999, invented an electric stimulator device. To deliver electrical impulses to the heart externally. In 1958, biomedical engineer Wilson Great Batch, 1919, in cooperation with doctors William M. Chardak. 1915-2006 and Andrew A. Gage, 1922, invented the first internal pacemaker. It was a small, flat, plastic disc powered by a battery. It was implanted into the body and connected by wires sewn directly onto the heart. The wires emitted rhythmic electric impulses to trigger the heart's action. Pacemaker batteries now last from 6 to 10 years. What are X-rays? X-rays are electromagnetic radiation with short wavelengths, 10 to 3 nanometers, and a great amount of energy. They were discovered in 1898 by William Conrad Rentgen, 1845 to 1923. X-rays are frequently used in medicine because they are able to pass through opaque. Dense structures such as bone and form an image on a photographic plate. They are especially helpful in assessing damage to bones. Identifying certain tumors, and examining the chest, heart and lungs and abdomen. A major disadvantage of X-rays as a diagnostic tool is that they provide little information about the soft tissues. Since they only show a flat, two-dimensional picture, they cannot distinguish between the various layers of an organ. Some of which may be healthy while others may be diseased. What are X-rays? X-rays are electromagnetic radiation with short wavelengths, 10 to 3 nanometers, and a great amount of energy. They were discovered in 1898 by William Conrad Rentgen, 1845 to 1923. X-rays are frequently used in medicine because they are able to pass through opaque. Dense structures such as bone and form an image on a photographic plate. 
they are especially helpful in assessing damage to bones. Identifying certain tumors, and examining the chest, heart and lungs and abdomen. A major disadvantage of X-rays as a diagnostic tool is that they provide little information about the soft tissues. Since they only show a flat, two-dimensional picture, they cannot distinguish between the various layers of an organ. Some of which may be healthy while others may be diseased. What is nuclear magnetic resonance imaging? Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, sometimes called nuclear magnetic resonance imaging. NMR, is a non-invasive, non-ionizing diagnostic technique. It is useful in detecting small tumors, blocked blood vessels, or damaged vertebral discs. Because it does not involve the use of radiation, it can often be used where X-rays are dangerous. Large magnets beam energy through the body causing hydrogen atoms in the body to resonate. This produces energy in the form of tiny electrical signals. A computer detects these signals, which vary in different parts of the body and according to whether an organ is healthy or not. The variation enables a picture to be produced on a screen and interpreted by a medical specialist. What distinguishes MRI from computerized X-ray scanners is that most X-ray studies cannot distinguish between a living body and a cadaver. While MRI sees the difference between life and death in great detail. More specifically, it can discriminate between healthy and diseased tissues with more sensitivity than conventional radiographic instruments like X-rays or CAT scans. CAT, Computerized Axial Tomography Scanners have been around since 1973 and are actually glorified X-ray machines. They offer three-dimensional viewing but are limited because the object imaged must remain still. The concept of using MRI to detect tumors in patients was proposed by Raymond Domedion. 1936, in a 1972 patent application. The fundamental MRI imaging concept used in all present-day MRI instruments was proposed by Paul Lauterbar. 1929-2007, in an article published in Nature in 1973. Lauterbar and Peter Mansfield, 1933. Were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2003 for their discoveries concerning magnetic resonance imaging. The main advantages of MRI are that it not only gives superior images of soft tissues like organs, but can also measure dynamic physiological changes in a non-invasive manner, without penetrating the body in any way. A disadvantage of MRI is that it cannot be used for every patient. For example, patients with implants, pacemakers or cerebral aneurysm clips made of metal cannot be examined using MRI because the machine's magnet could potentially move these objects within the body, causing damage. What is nuclear magnetic resonance imaging?
Magnetic Resonance Imaging MRI, sometimes called Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Imaging. NMR, is a non-invasive, non-ionizing diagnostic technique. It is useful in detecting small tumors, blocked blood vessels, or damaged vertebral discs. Because it does not involve the use of radiation, it can often be used where X-rays are dangerous. Large magnets beam energy through the body causing hydrogen atoms in the body to resonate. This produces energy in the form of tiny electrical signals. A computer detects these signals. Which vary in different parts of the body and according to whether an organ is healthy or not. The variation enables a picture to be produced on a screen and interpreted by a medical specialist. What? Distinguishes MRI from computerized X-ray scanners is that most X-ray studies cannot distinguish between a living body and a cadaver. While MRI sees the difference between life and death in great detail. More specifically, it can discriminate between healthy and diseased tissues with more sensitivity than conventional radiographic instruments like X-rays or CAT scans. CAT, Computerized Axial Tomography Scanners have been around since 1973 and are actually glorified X-ray machines. They offer three-dimensional viewing but are limited because the object imaged must remain still. The concept of using MRI to detect tumors in patients was proposed by Raymond Domedion. 1936, in a 1972 patent application. The fundamental MRI imaging concept used in all present-day MRI instruments was proposed by Paul Lauterbar. 1929 to 2007 in an article published in Nature in 1973 Lauterbur and Peter Mansfield 1933 were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2003 for their discoveries concerning magnetic resonance imaging The main advantages of MRI are that it not only gives superior images of soft tissues like organs, but can also measure dynamic physiological changes in a non-invasive manner. Without penetrating the body in any way. A disadvantage of MRI is that it cannot be used for every patient. For example, patients with implants, pacemakers or cerebral aneurysm clips made of metal cannot be examined using MRI because the machine's magnet could potentially move these objects within the body, causing damage.